Hello, everyone. Um, we are about to play Project Blue Book Hidden Mysteries. And this game doesn't have a main menu. And I can't get the intro cutscene to play again. So we are going to miss that, me included. Um, but essentially, this is based on a, like you saw in the beginning, a TV series which is based on real-world events. So whatever's happening in here is based on real-world events as far as I can tell. And, uh, yeah, this is what we are, we are going with. <laughs> I, I can't get the intro cutscene back. I'm sure it was great. I can't get it back. So, um... And then there was a little, a little tutorial, which was honestly, like, doesn't matter. Anyway, this, this, this gentleman here is uh, showing us how to do things. So we have an active leads panel here. We have one star and um, a rank. Rising rank by getting promoted. Get promoted by playing through cases and solving them. Now he disappeared. So now we have case files, blue book office, clue, at the Ro Ros Roswell report, New Mexico, I guess. So we're going to start investigating. And now we review the results, whatever that means. Investigation complete for your eyes only. Okay. Oh, there was a clue. All right. Um, after you investigate a clue or conduct an interview, your notes are recorded in your blue book. Got it. Yes. This might still be the tutorial. I'm not sure, actually. Item report, case file, found in blue book office. Okay, this is actually the place the game technically started in. Roswell? Why is the Air Force still interested in that weather balloon in New Mexico? That poor Major, Jesse Marshall, was completely humiliated. That's what you get when you jump to conclusions before a thorough investigation. Continue. Quinn is his name. Okay, we're heading to Oregon to Oregon to interview those witnesses who claim they saw a flying saucer. You don't believe in little green men? Neither do I. I'll bet they just saw some fireworks go off. And now we're here. Ma'am, your husband claims you were all just fishing when the object appeared over the water. And it's my understanding the sun was behind you, is that right? Do we have any music? No, it's just me. How wonderfully awkward. Mrs. Smith. Yes, the sun was going down when the craft appeared. I made a sketch of it, but I left it in the dressing room. Oh, here we go. Oh, look! We got the... I don't know what's going on. But anyways, let's go. The pier. One, the pier. Click to start. Okay, we got some, like, background music now. Okay, all our stuff. So I don't know what this is up here. Um, I think we want to find these things. And then... Photo... Hint? I don't know. So like, some sort of points, depending on how fast we find things, it looks like. Oh, the points go up if we find things fast. And there's a clue found for our book. Okay, new clue, binoculars. Ooh, scene cleared. Okay, yeah, so I think this game is like, solely hidden object scenes, I think. Which is fine. Um, okay, scene cleared, the pier, clue found. Two investigations. Score, multiplier, time multiplier, final score. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is a lead we have binoculars and before it was a lead that I picked up in the office, I think. We have three stars. All right. Investigation complete. Item report. Binoculars. Military grade. Eighth power magnification. Only thing wrong with them is their Navy issued, not Air Force. I have a few more things to show you before you're ready to investigate on your own. Open your blue book to review clues you've found and interviews you've conducted. Sorry. Investigations take place in the lab. Review your active leads panel here. The progression bar displays your case status and when new scenes unlock. Minigames refill your camera hints. Oh, okay, so that was a hint. Each minigame adds one camera hint. Let's continue the case. Mrs. Smith claims she misplaced her sketch in the yacht club's dressing room. Okay, so we have case 100, the Rogue River Incident, UFO sighting above the river. Scenes, start of two, stars unlocked, zero out of ten, overall progress, zero percent. 
All right. Oh, okay, so there's another clue here. We go back later, I guess. Okay, can I open the gate? The dishing room. report sketch. Now this is puzzling. These witnesses would seem to be more credible than average, but they expect us to believe this thing would stay in the air without wings? They must have been drunk. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are things to stay in the air without wings, but I get your point. In order to close the case, we need to find one final clue at the pier. Uh, from a distance, this tower might look strange, especially with the sun setting behind the witnesses. Good work, airmen. The case is closed with no funny business in sight. But don't get too comfortable, a new case could fall out of the sky any minute. Congratulations, you have leveled up to airman first class. Okay. Case 101, the polar dog fight. This is Flight 9015. Is there any other aircraft in the vicinity? Fargo Tower, negative coup, nothing but open staff. <laughs> Meet Dr. Alan Hynek, a civilian astrophysicist. He's here to back our claims and refute the press. Pleasure to meet you, Airmen. I like to think I'm here to uncover the truth, whatever it is. We have a situation in Fargo. A pilot claims to have gotten into a dogfight with an alien craft. Evidently, the plane has the battle scars to prove it. Oh my goodness. We need to get down there right away. We'll escort Dr. Hynek home to pack a bag. But first, grab any gear from the office we may need. Blue Book Office. Uh, why do we need a chain with a lock? What? That is a clue! Rame photo. I hope you understand our past cases were closed for good reason. Some stones are better left unturned. Okay. I, Loki sounds like a threat? What? Blue book office clue. Investigation complete for your eyes only. Blue book office meta clue. General Harding doesn't want us reviewing closed cases. You should trade lightly here, airman. Again, sounds shady. The way he's saying it. Uh, item report. Rame Raimi photo. This is an actual photograph from the Roswell paper. Is that a memo he's holding there? Does it say Raimi at the bottom? As in General Raimi? It would sure be interesting to know. I'll send it to the lab to see if they can make out any of the words. Lab results. We examined the photo. It appears to be a memo or teletype message. It would seem to be signed by Raimi, though the rest is difficult to make out. The few words we could make out include disc, victim, and crash. Our analysis on the full memo is inconclusive. It might be possible to decipher some of the message, but it would require close inspection of the original negative. We've got a next scene to learn how to unlock it. Hynek's front porch. And it's unclassified. Needed from scene 2 to unlock to... Uh, what are those called? Leads? Whatever. And 
Okay, we have a bunch. So here we have scenes two out of eight. Okay, this is based on a teleplay by David O'Leary. Stars unlocked, two out of 35 of real progress, 5%. Here we have four out of 10 stars, 40%. Airman Warfire, I'd like you to meet my family, my wife Mimi and my son Joel. I'm sure your family is lovely. Is this relevant to the case? Pleasure to meet you, Airman Warfire. I want to be a soldier when I grow up. I'm sorry. And defend the world like Flash Gordon does. Zap zap. Come inside and help me pack, Joel. I'm sure my friends will stand lookout for evil spacemen. I'm still confused how meeting your family is relevant to my job. Like, I'm sure your family is lovely. How is it relevant to my job? Hi, next front porch. Like, I value efficiency. Oh, wow, okay. But there should be something else there. Click on the next scene to learn how to unlock it, blah blah. Oh, I didn't even find anything? Oh. I don't mean to sound paranoid, but they have Joel doing duck and cover drills at school. Oh, do you live in the US? But what you're doing, this blue book thing, it's safe, right? You look up for Alan, won't you? Of course you will! Coffee, you have a kind face! <laughs> Wait, what? Of course you will, you have a kind face. I'll go fix you a cup of coffee. How do you take it? Thank you. I'm, I'm not even gonna answer the question. Rude. Also, having a kind face doesn't mean you're a kind person, but sure. Uh, I get that that's like, you're gonna form that bias, but like. Come on, Joel, let's help daddy pack for his trip. See you later, zap zap. Gotcha with my death ray, you're space dust now. Fair. Fair. Hi, next front porch. Oh, you're not a doll. Oh, you're a doll. Oh, there's a clue. Alright. Civil defense notice. Your tomorrow may depend on today's something. Mimi worries about us being safe. She says the neighbors built a bomb shelter in their backyard. Depend, depend. Your tomorrow may depend on today's preparedness. Sure. Sure. I don't buy into the public hysteria surrounding the atom bomb. Oh, right. This is... I don't even know. This is clearly in the past. What is this? 80s? 50s? However, I do understand the idea behind wanting to feel safe. Item report. Civil defense notice. Maybe rather the 50s, I guess. People are putting in bomb shelters these days. While there's no proof these shelters will protect them from an atom bomb, at least it makes them feel safer. Everyone wants to feel safe. That is true. Is that a two Oh, it's a five dollar bill. Click on the next scene, blah blah. Yes, I get it, Jesus. Okay, fine. The lock, like the next scene, you need to complete the investigation for two clothes from the front porch. I know. Porch, porch. In revolver mode, you must find the objects one at a time. You've got 10 seconds per object. Okay. Uh, I say. Let me click the objects then. All right, cool. I appreciate that they do they they do, they do the scenes with some variety. Is this my camera? No. Is someone taking pictures of my house? And leaving the camera? That seems professional. Front porch clue. Camera. I wonder if someone is spying on Dr. Hynek. We should keep an eye on his family. I didn't report camera. Was that a flashbulb? I wonder who is taking pictures of Mr. and Mrs. Hynek? It's hard to believe someone could be spying on them, but these are strange times. I better look around and see if I can spot the person who was using this camera. 
Case 101, the Fuller dogfight. United States Air Force pilot Clint Fuller, while airborne in his fighter over a football stadium in Fargo, North Dakota, observed a strange light which he believed to be a UFO. After his right wing was struck, causing minor damage, he engaged the object in combat and repeatedly fired upon it. Meta clues. Raimi photo. Investigated clues. Oh, the water tower and stuff are part of the same cave. Okay. Um, we can go to the third. 102, the Flatwoods monster. All right. Um, sure, we'll continue. I'm not gonna bother with getting all the stars. The case file says that this pilot, Fuller, was twice decorated, so his story should be credible. Pilot says aliens attacked my plane. I think credibility is asking a lot. Le Lieutenant, I'm Captain Quinn. We're both pilots. Tell me what happened up, here, up there. Oh, this is Fuller. Somewhere there's music, how faint the tune. Somewhere there's heaven, how high the moon. I'm sorry, what is that song you were just singing? Those lyrics? Let me talk to him alone, Doc. You're making him nervous. You should go search his plane. Okay. Hangar 18. An achievement. Uh, oh, I'm going to continue searching for clues. This is odd. This instrument is used to measure radiation levels. Why would they need this in a simple airplane hangar? Text mode. Rack up point. Oh, okay. We're, we're, it's more like working on the, on the achievements. Hmm. Those readings were way too high to just be considered normal background radiation. Someone must have known what they were looking for. Item report, Geiger counter. Dr. Hynek says elevated radiation readings are normal for planes that fly at high altitude, but he reports the readings on Fuller's plane uh, were excessive. Could whatever damaged the wing have been radioactive? Was it a weapon? When did you first see it? You were over a football stadium, right? Lots of light in the field. It wasn't on the field, it was moving, faster than anything I'd ever seen, until it attacked me. So you're saying this, whatever it was, was attacking you? Yes, it told me so, through the song. So you're saying this thing was speaking to you through a song? Not just the lyrics, something deeper I can't explain. It was real, okay? I thought I was going to die. Hangar 18. Searching for clues, please. Oh, so every time you go into the scene, you're not going to find a clue. Oh, that's fine. experienced pilot know a weather balloon if he saw one? Probably? Clue 
clearly the weather balloon is large enough to cause that damage to the airplane. Did Lieutenant Fuller intentionally fly into it? This weather balloon would account for the physical damage to Fuller's aircraft, and it certainly looks like the illuminated orb he described. But what about the pilot's account of maneuvers and speed? He's pretty shaken up. I wonder if his nervous condition was caused by the encounter, or vice versa. Let's do the last um, clue in the hangar as well. Um, hangar 18. Here we go. Pigeon. Continue searching for clues. Oh, is that a revolver one? Let's go. I know where everything is by now. Except that. Oh, the 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 damage is the clue. Yep. New clue: piece of wing. We have the sample of the wing where the pilot collided with the object. It needs to be thoroughly examined. True. Oh, that's a meta clue. We don't have the equipment we need here for a proper analysis. Send these wing fragments off to the lab. Alright, piece of wing. This metal fragment is from the damaged wing of Le Lieutenant or Lieutenant Fuller's aircraft where he claims he collided with an unidentified flying orb. Dr. Hynek wants the lab to perform a full spectrum analysis of the sample to learn more about its apparent radioactivity. Lab results. These readings are like nothing I've ever seen. Mostly alpha and gamma radi radiation, but also some neutron radiation, which seems um, impossibly high. Why don't you ask Dr. Hynek about this? Maybe he will be able to make sense of it. Why do you have- why, why are you- why are you radiating neutrons? What is going on? Don't do that. Uh, okay. But, uh... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Uh... We will continue in the next episode, though, uh, with this case. Um, and stuff. Oh, here's also a UFO. Interesting. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya!